Hi sir, I am Sai Krishna. Hello. I am a student. Recently I have seen a movie in that the pro- protagonist uh, tries to implement a system called voter voter recall. Voter recall in uh, that is the if the people are dissatisfied with the way the MLA or MLA are, uh, is doing things that uh, they have the right to remove that per- person from that position. My question is is it practically possible to implement that type of system in our uh, in our elect- election system if it is not possible why is it not possible if it is how how to do how to implement that system thank you thank you sai krishna you know we are all so angry with our elected representatives we want to see them all out so very commonly how do you recall them how do you punish them is an issue is a question that bothers all of us unquestionably elected representatives must be accountable to the people there is no doubt about it but recall at certain levels is simply not a practical proposition let me tell you why governance is about reconciling the short term benefits people seek short term satisfaction that we want with the long term public good that we should promote if every day the legislator or the legislature or the government are on test then governments will focus only on what makes them popular that day at the cost of tomorrow's good or future generation will be adversely affected just imagine a family just let's play a mind game if the children in the family are asked to vote every day or every week whether or not they want their parents to guide them and control their actions after all as children they have to be controlled by the parents within reasonable limits they are the guardians the children are still in a minority in terms of age and capacity to understand issues now if on a short term basis the decision is made by the children by vote there will be many families where they'll say i don't want my parents to control me because they are saying no to no to too much of video games no to spending late night outside no to driving without license or no to watching tv all the time or no to um, no outdoor activities and only staying at home etc so it's not a very wise thing in case of parents because there is this parental bond and love even if sometimes we fight the parents and children do fight in every family and this is i'm sure there's not a family where this discussion this debate this fight does not take place but if that's the basis on which you decide the power of those in authority then that can be very dangerous so be very careful particularly in the larger tiers of government i don't call it higher the larger tiers of government where policy is very complicated it's not directly delivering results to the people which are tangible it's about making policies to make something good happen it's very difficult to reconcile them so we must give governments a reasonable time legislators a reasonable time the second is the legislator is not an executive in our country mlas are behaving as uncrowned kings of the constituency but that's a perversion of the system executive function must be either by the government at the state level to some extent but in a large measure by the local governments in delivering services on a daily basis your water supply your potholes in front of your eyes your sewerage your street lighting all the things must be locally managed the parks unfortunately we innovated all these governments and mla is here as the focal point the king of the constituency that's a perversion of the system and therefore recalling on that basis is actually further perverting the system making it even more dysfunctional the third is in a complex society like ours we are not a homogeneous society caste regions religions etc if you allow recall somebody will be elected in the election next day all the other castes or in case of women candidates being elected in local governments the males the dominant males they will all gang up to unseat them it look like nice but actually it's not nice it look like democracy it's not democracy so there are those dangers and i'm not speaking hypothetically in the local elections in some states recall was allowed there are several cases where a woman elected was unseated by recall because all the males ganged up to bring her down from the panchayat or municipality i'm telling number of times to see this therefore we must be very careful 
But in local governments with health and safeguards, I think the recall will work better. Because in local governments, there are no grand ideas or policies. There's no serious reconciliation of the short term versus long term. It is straightforward delivery of services that people can understand. They're very tangible. Therefore, we can experiment this idea in local governments with certain safeguards, but not at the state and national level. It appears nice, but it can be potentially very dangerous. It will destabilize everything. Governments will be perpetual and intent to hooks. They will not have the courage to do anything right in the long term. Already, governments are giving up the long term good of society quality education, health care, infrastructure, investment, economic growth, jobs, incomes, that they are forgetting. Short term freebies, individual short term welfare measures to satisfy them that day and to get the vote. That has become the dominant impulse already in India. If you have a recall every day, that will become the only impulse. Indian growth will completely stall. The future of our children will be in serious danger.